district. Um, our goal was really to ensure that we had representatives from each of our county schools. Like we, we didn't just want to be, you know, junior leadership Pulaski County in name only. We wanted to ensure that we had representation from all of our districts um, because we want to serve our youth, our community, our leaders um, in that whole realm. And so we had six sessions. Um, each session had a theme. We really wanted it to be something that was a little bit different than other programs that were already out there. And so we were super fortunate to have a lot of community um, members who when we approached them and said, would you be willing to be a part of this? Would you give a little bit of your Saturday to come and talk um, to our kids? And when we shared what our mission was, uh, people jumped at it. And so your kids were, have been exposed to a lot of amazing community members. Uh, business members, people who just want to invest in the next generation, whether it was with their time, their money, their energy, or just dropping by and, you know, letting us know that um, they think that what this program is going to do is amazing. So we um, started off with True Colors, which is why your kids are wearing different colored shirts. Um, if you haven't had a chance to talk to them about it, please ask them. Ask them about what they learned what the impact was of the things that they went through. Um, there are four main colors and two colors. Uh, we do not have any oranges, which is the most like outgoing, spontaneous. Uh, Clayton's secondary color is definitely <laughs> that. Strong, <laughs> uh, but he is a gold. And then as you can see, Cecilia and I, we just we were fortunate enough to have all the color shirts. Somebody tie-dyed for us. Uh, we are also both gold. Um, so probably why this program happened, but um, a lot of our committee is actually cool as well. Um, but we're super grateful for that. Our second session was all about financial literacy. We had a retired school teacher that came in and taught that. It was amazing um, to have that. And then Laura came and talked a little bit about some money management. Our third session was health and fitness. Uh, just so you know, some of your kids were not happy about having to exercise that morning. Um, we did some what burpees. Well, I didn't. But they did some burpees. Um, some running in place. They made their own lunch. Some of them experienced some food that they'd never eaten before. Clayton says he doesn't cook. Um, so he was happy to put the English muffins in the toaster oven. Um, oh, wait, they didn't do the pita pocket. Oh, yes. We taught them that a pe what a pita pocket was. They were Their minds were blown that they opened and you could put them in. That was the highlight of that session for me. Because um, they were literally like so amazed. I was like, hence the name pita pocket, but it was good. It was good. So many great memories. Um, our fourth session was safety savviness. We had somebody come in and teach self-defense. I don't think I laughed as hard as I did watching these kids try to defend things on each other or Chrisman trying to get somebody to the door and get work out right um, But rest assured, they're all going to be safe now, those that were in attendance, so that's awesome. Uh, what else did we do? Oh, the fire department came. We talked um, about mental health, which was really important to us. <laughs> social media safety, some guidelines, things for them to think about as they embark on their future. Our fifth session was get a job. Um, we wanted to take it a little bit different instead of just focusing on um, interviews. We had somebody come in and talk about what happens if you are terminated, um, you know, how to handle evaluations. Also how to understand that you don't have to know your passion at 17, 18, 19. Um, years old. So I think that that was really great. They had some good, open and honest discussion from, you know, Teresa came in, Amber came in, and we had somebody from Evade come in. Um, our goal in all of these sessions was really just to expose them to as many different people with different paths, um, connect them with mentors. Each one of them had um, a mentor. We're still trying to grow that program. Some of us were great mentors, some of us were not. Sorry, Gabby. I was not a good mentor, <laughs> which is sad because I'm Kind of in charge of this program, but it's okay. <laughs> we are, it's just an example of being a work in progress, right? Um, always and, and forever. And then today we went to the animal shelter. Again, apologies to all you parents who got texts <laughs> begging for an animal. Um, they were great. Some of them refused to scoop poop, which, whatever. Um, we're a little dramatic about it. But JD wins the poop or scoop he did. <laughs> If we had done this like two sessions ago, we would have like some kind of trophy or something. Yeah. <laughs> Just didn't have time to make that happen, but he was a champ and he said, I got it. No he cleaned worries. up all the poop. He cleaned 
<laughs> Everybody else was like, ugh, but no, he cleaned it up. He was like, I got this, no worries. Um, you know, we had a dog escape, but it's all good. You know, just an update. He's made it back to the oh, show. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, good. So he's not at your house. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it wasn't his first time. He's a repeat offender, so it's okay. It's okay. So, anyway. I know I went on a bit, but I hope you guys will go on to Leadership Pulaski County Facebook page. If you guys have Facebook, look at our amazing pictures. We took a lot. Um, we want to thank you guys for sharing your kids with us. Saturdays are tough. I know we have kids that are involved in a lot of things. It was fun getting to know all of them. Um, we looked forward to it every Saturday. We got to spend every Saturday. We were lucky. Um, every Saturday session we were here. Um, we enjoyed watching them grow. They are, I don't know if they're quiet at your house, but these kids were so um, it, it, was almost, it was almost more exhausting to deal with a whole group of quiet people than the kids got a lot of because we had to pull it out of them. So hopefully they grew a little bit in that. But Everybody's an introvert except Lane. So, 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 anyway, we're going to play the video. It's short and then we'll go into, we'll hand it back over to. Um, to 